The GE Appliances Front Load Commercial Laundry Machines allow stacking of a dryer on dryer as well as dryer on washer. In this installation training video, we will cover the stacking procedure for dryer on dryer. There is no separate stacking kit or stacking accessory necessary to purchase along with the machines. All necessary attachment hardware is already included with the stackable top dryer. Some parts may need to move in order to complete stacking. Full instructions with illustrations are contained within the owner's manual. The tools needed are safety gloves, a Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 inch or 8 mm socket wrench, and pliers or an adjustable wrench. Step 1. You will need to remove the top panel from each dryer as these top panels will be swapped with each other. For the bottom dryer, use the access key, which came with the dryer in the accessory bag, to unlock and remove the user interface control panel. You can tilt the user interface control panel sideways and tuck into the dryer top shelf to allow you to remove the control panel frame without disconnecting the user interface harness connections. Next, using a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the four screws that hold the control panel frame in position and pull the control panel frame out. To remove the control panel frame, lift out and off the top flange and side locator pins. Then remove the four screws holding the top panel in place. Two of these screws are located in the rear of the dryer. The other two are located in the front of the dryer. To remove the top panel, slide it slightly towards the front of the dryer and then push the panel upward. For the top dryer, remove the single self-tapping screw from the top panel. This is located on the front right stacking bracket. Keep this in a secure place as this will be needed later when we attach the top dryer to the bottom dryer. Next, unscrew the two sets of two screws that hold the top access panel in position, as done before on the bottom dryer, rear then front. You can now remove the top panel using the same forward upward motion as before. Step 2. Next, we need to swap the two top panels. For the bottom dryer, take the top panel from the top dryer and install onto the bottom dryer. This will be the top panel with the four stacking brackets installed in each corner. Install on the bottom dryer and drive all four screws that hold this top panel in place. Ensure the four key slots in the top cover's bottom side will align with four posts on the top of the cabinet. Remount the control panel frame and fasten the four screws. Then, reinstall the control panel and lock into place. For the top dryer, take the top panel that was previously on the bottom dryer and install onto the top dryer. The four key slots in the top panel's bottom side will align with four posts on the top of the cabinet. Tighten the two rear mounted screws and two front screws to hold this new top panel into position. Then, remount the control panel frame and tighten the two screws. Note, if you are installing a coin drop for these stacked dryers, there are additional preparation steps that would need to take place here. Those steps will be covered in a coin drop installation video for a dryer on dryer stack. Step 3. Next, we need to make some of the other final preparations on the top dryer before the stacking occurs. First, Lay the top dryer down on its side on a soft surface such as the styrofoam packing material or a blanket in order to prevent scratching. Next, remove all four leveling feet from the top dryer. A pair of pliers or adjustable wrench may be needed if these leveling feet are more than finger tight. Separate the locking nuts from the leveling feet. Again, pliers or a wrench may be needed. Next, remove the two screws from the bottom rear side of the top dryer. This is required to prevent parts interference when stacking machines. The two screws can be discarded. Reinstall all four leveling feet without the locking nut to the top dryer. Insert all the way. Finger tight is sufficient. These locking nuts can be discarded. You could now tilt the top dryer upright. Step 4. Lastly, we are going to stack the two dryers together. Two to three people will be needed to safely lift and position the top dryer into position onto the bottom dryer. Carefully lift the top dryer to place onto the bottom dryer. Move the top dryer from rear to front in order to ensure that the four flange head screws on the bottom of the top dryer 
are slid into the slots of the stacking brackets on the top of the bottom dryer. In the final position, the front panels for the units should be flush and aligned in all directions. Next, on the top dryer, use the access key to unlock and open the user interface control panel. You can tilt the user interface control panel sideways and tuck onto the dryer top shelf, as done at the beginning of the stacking process. There is no need to disconnect any harnesses. This will provide you easier access to install and tighten the screw in the next step. Use the one self-tapping screw removed earlier from the stacking bracket of the original top panel on the top dryer to connect the top dryer to the bottom dryer into the front right bracket. Tighten this screw using a very short Phillips screwdriver or 5 16 inch or 8 millimeter socket wrench. Tip. It may be easiest to use two hands, one through the top dryer user interface control panel opening and your other hand through the top dryer coin drop opening. Reinstall the user interface control panel and lock it into place. Lastly, find the white plastic coin drop and coin box covers that came in the accessory bag inside each dryer. These will be used to cover the coin drop opening on the top dryer. Snap this plastic cover onto the coin box opening on the top dryer. Snap the two white plastic covers into the openings on the bottom dryer. The coin box plastic cover has the long tabs at rear. Note, if we were installing a coin drop and coin box on this stack dryer on dryer, we would have added several key steps during these final stacking steps. That information will be covered in another training video.